Hi everyone, today we'll talk about some common mistakes students make in how ma stands. Let's take a look. Mistake number one is facing squarely with the hips. If you face the opponent squarely with your hips, it will be very difficult for you to maintain your balance when force is applied to your arms, your torso, and especially to the hip of your front leg. In order to improve your stability, it's best to turn your hips at a 45 degree angle. Mistake number two is to lose the shape. Suck ying. When people get tired, they often begin adopting a more bladed posture. You can check out the video I made on facing the shape if you're interested in knowing the advantages of doing so. The link is in the description. Mistake number three is to lean your torso either forward or backward. Your torso should be perpendicular to the ground, assuming that the ground is level. No leaning forwards or backwards. When you lean forward, you can more easily lose balance from being pulled. You're more vulnerable to uppercuts, to being kicked or knee to the face, and to being kicked in the leg. Leaning back has its own disadvantages in that you can more easily lose balance from being pushed, and you're more vulnerable to being taken down. Mistake number four is similar to mistake number three, which is to lean your head either forward or backward. In basic stance, you should keep your head straight because it's better for balance and mobility. Since the head is pretty heavy, the torso will tend to lean in the same direction as the head. This is when all the disadvantages of mistake number three come in. Now I'm not saying not to move your head out of the way or brace for impact if you have to, because you should. So keep that in mind. When it comes to a basic stance, there isn't one stance that will eliminate all possible attacks. Therefore, you should not stand still in a fight. There isn't one best stance for every situation and circumstance. This is why every system has its own basic stance or optimal starting position, depending on the rules of engagement. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, remember to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, train well, and thanks for watching.